Mayor Catherine Pugh applauding a grassroots effort to stop the violence in the city of Baltimore. Let me give a shout out also to the ceasefire organization uh, because, and, and it's really a call to action. They're not even an organization. They're people in the community who said, let's stop the violence. Residents called for a 72 hour ceasefire. We can't solve this problem by ourselves. Everybody has to get into the action. No one group is taking credit for the movement, which inspired community events throughout the city. The Bel Air Edison neighborhoods hosted its fifth annual Nonviolent Family and Friends Day. If we give these kids something to do on a day to day basis and mentor these kids, we won't have all these crimes out here. Families enjoyed games, music, and food during the peace promoting event. I want to show everybody that we can gather a large crowd here and have harmony and peace with one another without any confusion, any fighting, any arguing. Dozens gathered at Frederick Douglass High School for a walk to prevent gun violence. Organized by Marylanders to prevent gun violence, the goal of the walk was to remember shooting victims. We say their names, we wanted to make sure that people could see their names. So we printed out signs of the names. Here I have Brandon Anderson uh, and all of their names who were shot and killed along our two mile walk today and rally to end gun violence in the city of Baltimore. We wanted to come here today so that the city could have a moment of peace, a moment of prayer, uh, and, and a time of healing. And this isn't going to be the only step. Um, we're going to make sure that this is just the first step. Next week, Ceasefire 365 will meet. Their new goal will be no violence for an entire year. We're live tonight from Federal Hill. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. <laughs>